Today is the day that we learn how to uh, implement our struct center enums, and this uh, this means um, to give them. This is one one part of it. We're giving them methods, and uh, methods uh, we've seen uh, we've seen a lot of them already. Um, you can see uh, if you go into the documentation for uh, for any type, you have right here methods, and um, you can see this is for uh, for vec. And we have seen, uh, let's see, which ones have we seen? Len, there's one, there's one that we saw before. And so you can see a, a method is the, uh, the variable, and then uh, there's a dot, and then you, uh, so it's like a function, except for the, uh, the dot comes after the variable. And we're going to uh, <clears throat> learn how to do that. And let's say um, uh, we have a uh, super simple struct, it's a uh, it's a book and all it has is a number and then uh, so now we want to give this uh, some methods. The way you do that in uh, in Rust is you use this uh, impl keyword, and impl means uh, implement implementation. And so you say impl book and then uh, you decide what kind of uh, what kind of functions you want to give it, <coughs> and uh, you have uh, a bunch of choices here. Uh, this is where you uh, you start to see uh, the self keyword and let's say we want to uh, we're going to create a book and then we want to uh, return the number so we'll call it get number and then you have to uh, do a uh, you put in self here but if you put in you know self then it will you know take take ownership of uh, of this and then uh, you know it'll destroy your book unless you return it so uh, probably better to do a reference and then let's say this will return a u32 and then we just say self dot number and then that'll return it so let's say uh, my book equals book and then we say number is going to be uh, it's book number 50 and then we uh, we print out uh, <clears throat> let's see book or my book my book uh, dot get number. So this is our first method. And there you go. So it will, uh, yeah, so the thing to remember about uh, methods uh, is that uh, you have the self keyword. You can also have mute, of course. So we can do like a uh, change number. And this will be s uh, mute reference to self. And let's say a uh, new number, we will also make this a u32. <clears throat> and then you will say uh, self.number equals uh, a new number. And then and that's it. So we can also go down to here and say, uh, so we have my book here. And we will say uh, my book dot change number. And we're going to change this to 60. And then we're going to use get number to get that number. <clears throat> and I forgot to make it mutable, of course. Let's mute my book equals book. <clears throat> there you go. So that was uh, not too hard. Uh, I uh, I took a while to uh, to get used to the self keyword because uh, Rust was basically my first programming language. But uh, uh, yeah, basically you just see them inside these. Uh, these implementation blocks. Uh, the next, um, the next kind of uh, function you see inside them is a uh, associated function or a static function, and these are the ones that um, they are inside the block, the implementation block, but they don't take self. So they, um, they, they don't come after. You don't do like a dot, and then whatever the name of the thing is. They uh, they work differently. I'll show it. And usually, you see them with uh, when you're making a new a new uh, variable of this type. And uh, by the way, the the word uh, new is not a special word in Rust. It doesn't mean anything. So uh, you know you could write new like this, and it'll be exactly the same. It's not a keyword. So um, so let's say new book. And uh, when you make a new book, uh, we're going to give it a number. That's the only thing we are going to need. 
and you can see here, you know, we already created our new book manually, but uh, we can also make a, a function to make a uh, to make it a little bit easier if we want. And then uh, what you have to do is return. Now here you have two choices. You can say return a book, or you can say return self, and with a uh, with a capital S because it's the name of the type. So self here means book. And uh, usually you see self, you can, you know, there's no problem with book, but uh, if you say self, and then later on we decide this, uh, this type's name is a uh, book two, then self will automatically return a book two, and we don't need to retype this. So self is uh, pretty convenient. And then down here, we do self again. And the reason we do this is because this is just saying we are returning a self. Then we go inside here, and then we uh, we make the thing that we're returning. So we are making a self, which is a book, and then we will say, um, let's see, number equals, uh, all right, number equals number. So there we go. That should be it. And the way these work is you do not do a dot. You say, so we'll change my book into book my book equals book new like that so an associated function it has these two two colons and that's because we don't have a book to uh, we don't have a book to use a method on yet it's uh, it's making a new one for us so anything associated is uh, is connected by this and we've seen we've seen this before with like a uh, string from and uh, you put your uh, your stir inside there, and so this is the uh, this is an associated method for the string uh, string type, and uh, so that is uh, usually the way you see the the uh, the three actually four you know you can take self by by ownership, but usually you see you know references to self you see mutable references to self. And then you see these uh, associated functions, and of course, there's um, you know there's no there's no rule that you can't uh, you know just make a random associated function like let's say uh, I don't give number, and we're just going to put in a number here, and we're going to return it, and then we're going to say number. So this is uh, you know. Technically, it's fine, but it's weird because it makes no sense. So uh, let uh, my number equals book uh, give number fifty, and then uh, you know print this uh, print this number, and this will uh, you know this will work, but you know it has nothing to do with a book. So uh, you know I can't think of a reason to do that, but. Uh, there's no rule saying that you know it has to be it has to be self or it has to return self. It can be you know anything you want, but uh, you know may, maybe you can uh, you can come up with a reason to do something like this. But uh, so it's just good to know that uh, technically you can.